Hi guys, welcome back. It's like five months later, but hello. Um, if you don't know me from my personal life or anything, then you won't know why I've not been posting, but the fact is I've got a baby now and it's a lot harder to do things than it was when I was pregnant and I had no time. I wasn't motivated, I didn't know what to do. But Rebecca came up with me up sort of doing um, master classes, teaching how to do different looks, different things, and bam, my motivation is back. Recently, I did the MUA influencer class to talk about like your Instagram, boosting all those things, and I'm super excited to get back to doing this. I love YouTube, I love makeup, I love posting, I love sharing, I love doing makeup, I love everything. So yes, we're gonna be back doing it today. And today I created this lovely autumnal little eyeshadow look that I love, 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 love. I use the clientele palette. If you haven't got it, you need to get it. I have a new Instagram account that is completely separate to my original uh, private account. It is Leah Kits and Makeup. I'm going to leave it in the description below. Um, Please go follow me. I have done so many lovely looks that I'm very proud of. I also did any... I don't really know how many days of Halloween looks, but I was super proud of them, but really creative with those using special effects and makeup. And I'm so excited about producing more content and getting back into doing something. I'm not sitting around the house being like, I'm going to try and keep to a schedule for you guys so it's easier for you and me and everybody else involved. I'm so excited to do it. Thank you to Rebecca Cable Makeup for giving me the motivation and the pep talk that I needed for so long. I'm so ready. And if you want to find out how I created this lovely look here, Please keep on watching the video. So the first step is to prep your eyelids and carve your brows out if you haven't already. I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna do it with you because you know, I've done it before in like previous videos years ago, but I thought I would do it again. I'm using the P. Louise base in the shade number three because I usually use the number two, but because I've got tan on today and I'm wearing a dark foundation, this would go better. So I've got my palette, it's a bit dirty because I've got my foundation not. I'll just take this much. Sometimes I can go in with a bit more, but sometimes, sometimes that does me fine, right, eh? On a PC40, which is this oval precision brush, I usually use a bigger brush, but because I've already done like my brows and stuff, I think it would be a lot easier just going in with a smaller brush. All I do is just carve under my brows, and then that's literally that. You just kind of just, it's a lot easier, I find, once your eyebrows are actually done first, because literally, all you're doing is just lining them, like that. And then at any excess, I just kind of bring it down because we're going to go in with the Beauty Beast base on the lid as well, but using a different brush. This brush that I'm going to go in with is the Beauty Bay Iconic brush. It's just this little fluffy brush. Hopefully you can see the fluffiness of it. And all I do is take a little bit on the tip slash the side of the brush. And I'm going to just flick it onto the lid and you don't want too much. Tap it on and flick it out. And it blends into the skin. This is why you want one that matches your shade. The POAs have loads and loads and loads of different shades. So you will always find one that goes with your skin perfectly. Uh, you just kind of want to have this like blank canvas perfect to do your eyeshadow on. Easily blends into the skin, as you can see there. Good to go in with less at first. And then if you feel like you need more, go in with another one. There we have our eyes ready for eyeshadow. Now the palette that I'm going to go in with today is the Be Perfect in Clientele palette. It's so good for natural looks. And I mean, I'm not one for natural looks, but recently I've been loving them a lot more than I have, you know, colorful stuff. But I think that was due to Halloween. Um, over Halloween, I did like lots of looks of Halloween. If you haven't seen them, I'll leave a link to my makeup Instagram in the description below for you so you can go check them out. This is the lovely clientele palette. If you haven't got it before, you're gonna need this. It's always on sale. You pick it up whatever you can. The first brush I'm gonna use is a PC11, and this is like a flat, fluffy brush. If you can lighting, what is going on? I think that's better. Sorry for the first half of the video. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is the shade brownie, and I'm gonna take the side of my brush. So I'm gonna dip it in like this. I'm gonna kind of create like a diagonal line upwards here. So I'm gonna pack it on. Holding it closer to the bristles, like I'm packing on the outer corner of my eye and just taking it up above my natural crease. It doesn't matter if it's not neat or perfect. What you want to do is make sure that's above your natural crease. So whenever you open your eyes, then you'll see the eyeshadow all over your eyes and not just kind of clumped in the center. You can see here that I need to get up a wee bit more, you see? And I'm going to keep this kind of rounded. So what, once I've done this eye, I like to kind of check that they're both even over my eyes. And I can see that this one needs to be taken a wee bit higher so that they match. Just on like so. 
Next the brush I'm going to go in with is the PC47. This is a small, tiny blending brush. Using this brush on the tip. And I'm going to take it into the shade here. It's like a, it's like a burnt orangey red. It's called Jaja. I'm going to go around the edges of this here um, brown with light pressure. So I'm going to hold the brush at the end. Then you want it kind of on the shade, but also on the um, skin. Running around nice and neatly to soften that edge. Helps to build up a better gradient as well. Every single little edge you have. Can bring it a wee bit further down, which I want to do here. I always find that one eye, I do better than the other and it really annoys me. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this PC10. It's this very big fluffy brush. It's so good for bending the outer edges. I think I'm gonna go in with Dirty Tan because it's slightly darker than Sandy and I'm wearing a darker foundation. So I think it'll look a lot nicer. So I'm gonna take it on the tip of the brush with Dirty Tan. I'm gonna repeat the step I just did, but just blend it upwards around the edge where it's like that. It's gonna blend that right up into the brow. As you can see, it doesn't look completely blended yet, but we will get to that stage in a minute. Now that I've got that dirty tan placed down there, I'm gonna go in with the reverse blending technique. Reverse blending is whenever you start with the dark shade, work up the light and then work back down again, and this gives you a better pigment payoff. The eyeshadow look 100% better. So the, the light and the medium brush, product and the light brush, and then I'm gonna add the shade Jaja again with the medium shade brush. And this basically adds the color back in, so then you have, you can see the blend better. Jaja. Taking this brush and just blending it out. I just want to keep on doing this until you're happy with the blend that you've got. But I've done that part. The next thing is we're going to take the dark shade brush, which is the PC11, and then take the shade brownie. Apply that where I had it, and then blend it out with the PC47 brush with no product. And this is whenever you kind of want to take it a wee bit more over. Just so then you can have, see that dark shade in your eye. But lightly, very lightly, you don't want too much of it. I'm going to take this brush and just to keep it kind of cohesive and still blended. So now we're going to move on to the lid space. This is the Peter brush again that I used the fluffy brush and I'm going to take a bit of the Peter space and add it onto the lid and all I want to do is place it on the lid. You just want to bring it slightly above the crease. Make sure you do take it above the crease otherwise whenever you open your eye you'll not see the shimmer. I'm going to quickly go in with the PC47 brush that we had the red burgundy shade and just to kind of blend that into the base you don't need like a nice diagonal shape shimmer i have a feeling i want a really nice kind of like autumnal shade i think i've been using this hot spot shade because it's quite orangey you know what i haven't used it before so why not i'm going to use this hair brush it's a small flat brush it's kind of fluffy it's the pc20 and it's good for packing shimmers on and i'm going to start down here quite slowly you just want to focus it in one area at a time and then move on. Focus it on one area, the pigment payoff will be amazing. Become more shimmery, more metallic, it'll look a lot better. I really am loving that, that's really nice. And then I'm taking that there PC47 brush just to blend it around the edge of that. Making sure when I open my eyes you can see that shimmer still. If you can't add more shimmer please, thanks. I'm gonna go in with this here. It's the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light Liquid Eyeshadow Crystals in the shade Retile. I'm just gonna add that on top of my eyeshadow where I have it. And this basically just intensifies the shimmer. This is like a coppery bronzy shade. Taking the tiniest bit over the top. Like that. Taking this brush, it's the PC31. It's like a smaller version of the shadow shimmer brush and just patting it in. And it shouldn't crack. We're patting that all over. And that kind of makes the shimmer more intense so you can see it a lot better. Using the colour pencil from Morphe in the shade Vibes. It's like a dark, rich, chocolatey brown. Add that into my waterline quickly, just like that. Going back into my clientele palette, I'm taking the PC33. It's a small little pencil brush. And I'm going to take the dark brown shade that I use with the shade brownie. I put it under my lower lash line, as close to the lash line as I possibly can. So I'm going to do this quickly. And you kind of just want to tap it on. The best way to do it is to push it under your lashes. Bring it right along. I want to make sure that that's connected and that there is no little gaps between your waterline and your lower lash line. Take the PC47 brush with the shade Yaja. 
I just run it under closely to blend that out and into that shade. Doing the same with the PC10 and the shade that's dirty tan, just kind of blend it under the eye. Um, you can use a smaller brush, but I'm going to use this bigger brush. And then the optional step you can take is by taking a darker brown shade and punching it out into the uh, upper lash line with PC14. So I'm going to take the shade too much and just smudge it out. And this kind of creates like a smoky kind of liner. Taking the PC38, which is a pencil brush, nice fluffy pencil brush. And I'm taking the shade Glow Up, which is a nice highlighting bright shade. Like that. Pick it up like that. Just pop it in the inner corner, especially in the tear duct. Make sure and bring it on, kind of down here a wee bit. Now done with your eyeshadow. I'm um, going to add some mascara on with Maybelline um, Lash Sensational Mascara. Now, I can't do lashes as much as I love wearing them. I could never put them on myself. I want them to be perfect, but I love mascara as well, just to kind of lower lashes. Here we have the finished look, and I'm actually in love with this it's so nice very autumnal i'm very excited about the autumn weather cozy vibes so this is very nice for me thank you so much for watching hopefully i will be i will definitely be posting more videos because i'm very 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 motivated to do more thanks for watching um and i'll see you guys in the next video bye